We've already seen a ton of crazy, colorful looks using the Anastasia Riviera palette. But today I want to show off just how versatile this palette can be. So I created this soft glam gradient smoky eye using the more neutral shades in the palette. After priming and setting the eye, I'm first sweeping a state into the crease and smoking it out towards the brow. This satin warm light peach is going to serve as my transition shade. I'm also sweeping it all along the lower lash line. If you have a darker or warmer skin tone, you could probably skip this and just jump straight in with the next shade. I'm going in with Cabana, a matte muted mustard yellow just under a state to warm up the look and add a little depth. Again, I'm also sweeping it along the lower lash line. Next, I'm packing Palm into the outer V, which is a matte dark brown with a slightly reddish undertone. When there's not much product left on the brush, I'm dragging it about halfway into the crease. I'm also bringing it onto the lower lash line, concentrating on the outer corner and blending it about halfway in. Be sure to connect to the upper lid. After wiping off the fluffy side of the brush, I'm giving everything a good blend. This next step is optional, but I'm using a white eyeliner as a base to make the upcoming shimmer shade more pigmented. This is more out of habit than anything because Yacht is super pigmented. I mean, just look at that. Now, Anastasia describes this shade as a duochrome mauve top. Taupe? Taupe or top? How do you say taupe? How do you spell it? T-A-U-P-E. It's taupe. Taupe? Okay. Now, Anastasia describes this shade as a duochrome mauve taupe with a violet shift, but I honestly don't see that at all. It's more of a soft golden bronze with a pearly sheen. But whatever. It's pretty and buttery, and that's all that really matters. After blending out the edges, my brown has lost some of its fierceness, so I'm going back in with palm to re-intensify the outer corner. I like to blend it into the gold at about a 45 degree angle. I don't know, it just works for me. Try it out yourself. Next, I'm highlighting the brow bone and inner corner with sails, a matte white. Use a nude eyeliner to brighten the waterline. You can stop here if you want, but I just can't resist pairing this kind of look with a wing. Begin by following the angle of your lower lash line towards the tail of your brow. Then, starting not quite at the tip to keep the point nice and sharp, start to connect to the upper lash line. Fill in the gap. Then draw a thin line right along the base of your lashes. Slowly thicken the line as you connect it to your wing. And that's it. Finish off the look of some mascara and you're done! I still have more looks using this palette planned, so please subscribe if you want to see more. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, where I post sneak peeks and updates. Feel free to let me know what you think of this look and request any looks you'd like to see. Thanks for watching! You can find a product list in the description box below.